out of everything that I have, all the stuff, I big air hog is the uh, tire machine, the one to break the beads out of the tires. It needs a lot of pressure, it uses a lot of air to break them beads. And a sandblaster. This sandblaster is a big time air hog. If you got a little compressor, if you don't get a 60 gallon, don't even bother trying to get a sandblaster. Not only that, this is the hose that came with it. And that one right there doesn't use the air efficiently. More on the sandblaster when I'm in the video. All right, here I am. This is my 60 gallon compressor. I'm outside right now. It's like 32 degrees out right now, but this is my big 60 gallon compressor that I have. Yes, I love being a YouTuber. I keep getting bigger, faster, stronger. Thank you. But this one right here, remember, it's, I'm, I'm telling you about cylinder heads. Look at this big cylinder head on this one. I mean, that's my hand, and that's the whole cylinder head. So so this cylinder head is going up and down, up and down, and it doesn't have to go as fast as those little smaller ones look at this motor right here this is the motor and the flywheel is huge on the other side so this motor is getting more pumps with that big flywheel so that's what i tell everybody now here's another thing look at there's all of them has oil gauges and this is the oil reservoir i'll show you the oil reservoirs on the other ones because you have to change the oil in your air compressor like you change the oil on your car i'm going to show you my other compressor where this is actually dirty where it needs to be changed you drain it from here all right but with this bigger uh cylinder head you get a lot more pressure in this big 60 gallon here so if you're doing more uh uh constant tools sanders grinders spray guns you need all this even with my big uh, construction nailer I could probably hit about maybe 40 hits or 30 hits out of the nail gun with this one than I can with the little ones and another thing to look for on this one this is a max 155 psi this is actually a three-quarter inch I don't know if I, I opened it one time a three-quarter inch outlet hose I don't want to get dirt in there a three-quarter inch outlet hose because all compressors have a drop in pressure now I'm going to show you the outlet holes on all the other ones, and then I'll explain the outlet holes. Now this right here, between this right here, you see this don't come with the ball valve because that would appraise the price, the price. I actually bought this on sale for $500, believe it or not. I got that one on sale for $500, okay? But these outlet hoses right here for these big ones, uh, you see everybody doing all the copper piping like a still and all that the copper piping drain to get no dirt or water in the line well between that copper piping on these ones right here you need a rubber jumper hose and the three quarter inch rubber jumper hoses are expensive but why you need that is because this big motor running shakes and it shakes the compressor well the rubber hose in between is what vibrates and it doesn't cause your whole copper line to vibrate so that's another thing right there and on top of this one right here see made in the usa 60 gallon your 11 cfm at 90 psi 13.4 at 40 psi uh 3.7 horsepowers now what the psi makes a huge difference if you're uh shooting brad nails and a brad nail going like two 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 I could probably do 100 brad nails and that won't call for any pressure. Now on a construction nailer asking for 90 PSI, bam, 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 it's going to take a lot more air out of your compressor. Like with the little, uh, with the 29 gallon one that I have, the Harbor Freight 29 gallon one, I do four hits with the compressor on the uh, construction nailer. Brrr, it's going on. And that little motor, vice this big motor right here, that little motor is running so fast just to try to fill that thing up with air. Where this one takes not even half the time just to fill back up with air. So let me show you the other compressors. It'll fill up that tank right there with the low pressure really fast. I mean, the low pressure, psh, not a problem. But to get up to the 90 to 116 PSI... This one will probably take freaking half an hour, you know? This one will take a long ass time. This one, I actually trust faster to fill that, the pressure 
but the 220 line you put it in within a minute that's going to have that one filled up so i'm just trying to give you insights on it and like i said if you look at the cylinder heads look at this cylinder head and that motor running which this 300 uh, uh, uh i mean this 125 psi three gallon vice that 115 psi three gallon i mean get a good look at the motor i mean that's a huge difference in motor and the cylinder head okay now this one is a 29 gallon and that cylinder head basically is that size but with bigger fins and that right there motor is i would venture to say they're the same size motors okay that's uh craftsman and these are harbor freights right here now another thing is with uh these right here is the oil level you see this oil needs to be cleaned i'll show you the oil level in the 220 but that needs to be cleaned that needs to be drained because these are pistons just like a car pistons that you need to change the oil now this one right here the oil needs to be changed but this one right here i see no drain hole and this one at all so this oil right here if you take this off you actually got to vacuum the oil out of here breather this what sucks in the air so you got to suck the oil out of there and then put it back in but this is where your air is being sucked in at this is where the muffler goes i have a muffler right here this is supposed to muffle the sound so it could go on this compressor right here or this compressor right here and that right there is another thing that i'm watching guys do is they're actually putting car mufflers attached to their air compressors and it oh my god it really 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 lessens the sound because this one right here painted in the basement i had it in the basement and to hear this little motor because in order for these cheaper inferior compressors to catch up to a quality compressor these motors are running at twice the speed and it gives you the pressure that you need vice a bigger motor with flywheel and these are so hopefully this gives you a little bit insight on your compressor this is the video's gonna be like buying your first compressor watch this first save your money don't get these little cylinder head air compressors because they're not worth the money all right please subscribe like and share thank you trev2323 trev2323 rob here uh subscribe like and share thank you bye bye